skeletal surfer hanging ten on the big wave here at the seaside haunt. Say cheese. <laughs> Ready for your close up? <laughs> Very nice. this uh, get started? Uh, well, it started three years ago as an idea in, uh, in Woodland Hills at the, at the previous Boogie House location. It was a group of them that got together and uh, wanted to venture onto a new project. And fortunately, they found Ventura is the home of the, new, of the new haunted house, which is here, Seaside Haunt. But it really fits in very well in the Ventura community, being that it is a beach, a beach community, is a harbor community people can, can relate to it up here. Okay, so obviously you got a lot of people going through here. Parts of it are very dark, very confusing. Do people get lost? Do they chicken out? Do they scream for help? All you have the time. time. <laughs> All the time. Last year we had quite a high percentage of people that wouldn't be able to make it halfway through. We had a group of guys and their girlfriends go through and uh, halfway, halfway through, a couple rooms into it, um, the guys left and left their girlfriends in the haunt. <laughs> and you can hear their girlfriends yelling for them and they're like, you better get back here the guys are like no way no way so they had to go at the chicken exit which is the front door and had to be seen by hundreds of people yeah. in line now there's all, there are different sections of the maze and you just set people in there and let them do what they have to do right we leave it up to their imagination it's never fun to be told what to do especially in something as creative as a haunted house uh, how can you tell someone to stand there and say you know you sit here and you say boo and you do it at this time when this person's walking by we'd rather have it you know here's what Here's your area, here's the situation, and if you need any help, we're, we're there to help you. But we prefer that, you know, you come up with something on your own, I'm sure it'll be great. And if you want to run it past this, that's fine too. Yeah. So we really want everyone to have a part in it. We don't want them to feel like it's not their haunted right. house. The whole, des the whole design of, of doing that with the zones is, is letting them be creative, letting them know that they can they can be a part of it, that, that it it's really up to them that, to what makes the attraction really good and to have a sense of ownership. On a normal night, we would have normally about, I'd say 20 or so people. Um, we try not to make it too busy because it takes away a lot from the haunt itself. If everywhere you turn your actors, you don't get to enjoy the scenery or anything like that. So are you going to stick to uh, Ventura or are you looking for maybe a more populous location? Um, we don't know. <laughs> don't know. There has been talk of moving the attraction to West LA somewhere, but as of right now, it's just talk. Yeah. So Nothing's set in stone. For now, this is where we are. This is our home. Because I, I think part of the scare is driving out here to Ventura yeah. in the dark <laughs> with the fog the dark, rolling the off the, the beach. The You're primed for the haunt by the time you drive in the parking lot here. How was it? Kick ass, dude. On a scale of one to kick ass, <laughs> beers towards the right. <laughs>